One of the most important things of a phone is camera and if you're moving to a custom room then you probably are limiting your camera capability to only one single lens because all those default cameras that these rooms comes with are limited to use just the primary lens and all the other lens gets useless. This is the point where ANX comes into picture because it brings back all those functionalities of your stock camera back into custom rooms. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the latest version of ANX camera, which is version 190. This version is specially meant for Android 11. So if you are on a ROM that is Android 11 or above, you can feel free to follow this video and flash that camera. Without wasting any time now, let's start the video. So before we proceed to install ANX camera on our custom rooms, you have to make sure that you have Magisk installed. If you don't know how to install it, I've made a video, leave the link there. Go watch that, install that and come back to this video. But once you have installed it and configured it, you have to go to modules and under there install from storage and move to the folder where you have downloaded the files that I have linked in the description. I went to the wrong folder there. You'll be able to see three different folders or zip files that I have provided. First thing you need to do is flash this MIUI core. Once you have flashed this MIUI core, you can go back, back to the modules and in here flash ANX camera. This is a big file, so it's going to take some time to load into the temporary directory and then it's going to start flashing. As you can see, the installation is successful. So once you have ANX camera installed, you will see under the install modules, MIUI core version 1.4 as of now, because this seems to work properly. If you are installing 1.0, then you will have the error of cannot connect to the camera. So 1.4 it is that is working. Then ANX camera version 190R, I have these two installed and on the bottom, I also have MIUI gallery, which is quite optional, but I want to have it. And under here, since this is Redmi Note 10 Pro, I have installed Sweeten Fix Tinked. What it does is officially there is a bug in the camera for all the custom rooms that the camera has a pinkish green tint on it and this fixes it. But after you have installed all this, what you can do is reboot. And I'm going to quickly reboot the device once. And once it boots up, you will be able to see the NX camera version 190 installed on the phone. So the phone booted up, let me quickly show you the NX camera and right here the first thing that you notice is you don't need to give any permissions because this module is gonna take all the permissions by itself. Now it can be good news or it can be bad news for people who don't really want to have all the permissions given to the camera. So you can go here, disable whatever you don't want it to have and then come back to using it. Now coming back to NX camera, let me show you what all features do we have right here. So that's my lens cap, 1x easy, 2x possible and then ultra wide is also working. Portrait mode, if you go there, you'll be able to see that this also is working fine. You can click on the lens icon, increase or decrease the focal length and increase the blur or decrease it and then these studio lighting filters are also supported which works good if you have a face instead of this then under more you will be able to see 64 megapixel mode since this is redmi note 10 pro for your phone specifically it will change to whatever mode it has so since i click this photo on 64 megapixel mode if i go under the details you'll be able to see that this is a 20 megabytes photo so this is basically clicking perfectly fine without any extra zip files that I need. Now on here, if you see the watermark, that's wrong, 48 megapixel. But besides that, everything yeah works. Then more into the options here, you can see everything right here. So basically night mode. If I click a night mode, it also does that. So this is also working. So all in all, like most of the things in this ANX camera version 190 works directly out of the box without needing to have an extra zip file flashed. Coming to the video, you'll be able to see that you have these different kind of resolutions where it comes to 720p 30fps, 1080p 30, 1080p 60 and 4K 30. That is the maximum limit that this can record. Then you can even use your super macro to record videos. 
which I think might be super helpful for some of the types of video recordings but yeah that's not something for me and then you have st super stabilization mode and these kind of things so basically all in all everything works pro mode you have white balance focal length shutter everything works you can click photos right away so this is how you install anx camera version 190 on your custom room so with that i end today's video and if in case you have some issues or are facing any problems during the installation of this anx camera let me know in the comment section below because i'm gonna help you out get this installed on your android 11 and above also if you're interested to see the camera comparison between a google camera that gcam as well as anx camera let me know in the comment section below also what you should let me know in the comment section below is if in case you have some questions that you want to ask me because i'm going to be taking those questions up for the q a that's going to be coming soon since you already complete one year on youtube if you like this video press that like share it with your friends let them know this camera brings back all the functionalities that you have if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll be catching you guys next week and with that make sure you take care of yourself things are going pretty rough outside and i'll be catching you guys next time see ya